Hello, welcome back to the Games Kingdom. My name's Carl King and today we're going to be having a look at one of the new Loak Battle Mats Big Box of Dungeon Doors. So this is a new product from Loak. Uh, obviously they normally do a lot of battle mats and I've shown a few of their books and things off on my channel previously. But this is something slightly different for me to have a look at and uh, I must say a quick thank you to Loak. They've been a great supporter of my channel. Uh, since its inception, uh, sending me a few products for me to do reviews on and uh, as I say I'd just like to sort of do a nice shout out to them and uh, the, the products that they do are always top notch quality. Uh, as you can see I've not opened this, it's still in the sort of uh, sealed uh, cellophane. We'll turn the box over so you can see the back here. So you've got 40 unique detailed doors. So you can adorn your RPG maps and board games with 40 beautiful doors. Each door design is unique, from simple wooden dungeon doors, metal puzzle doors and perilous portals to suspicious skull covered stone entrances, an adventure surely awaits. So each design is represented on a clear acrylic standee with a clear base ready to add to the table. They're perfect to use with any RPG map, including obviously Loke's own battle maps that uh, you've seen on here before and hopefully you've seen on their website. Uh, you can do it on your game board, your map book, your tabletop maps. They will allow you to create engaging scenes in seconds and it includes 40 double-sided doors, each with a clear base. You've got 35 singles and 5 doubles. And which door will you open? on your adventures. So without much further ado, let's sort of uh, slice our way in here without hopefully slicing ourselves open at the same time. So we'll get this sorted and uh, put the rubbish ready for recycling and then we'll open up the box and we'll bring these out for us to have a look at. So here you can see them. So we've got a nice protective top. So as I say we've got 40 doors here. There's five doubles and 35 singles. So basically you take out your door from the sort of holder if we can get that out. We just pop that out like so. And you've got your bases and you slot them in like so. Just sort of push these in. There must be a, a way for them to go in. So there you go. I had that on upside down. And as you can see, they are nicely uh, double sided. So, and full colour on both sides. So we'll just try and get some of the singles out. As you can see, some of them are put in in sort of double to store and uh, once they're in they're nicely fixed so you've got some sort of portal there which looks quite nice and then we've got some other ones here where you've got sort of sharp teeth. Just try and get that into a little bit of focus there. And things there. So as you can see they are all, as I say, all double sided. You've got some uh, wooden doors as we said earlier. These do pop out but they are nice and snug in here so it will stop them sort of moving around when you're transporting them. And then we've got some nice wooden doors as well. So, as you can see, there is a nice mix of items, including some nice metal looking doors. Like so, like a sort of uh, vault that you would try and get into. So you've got a, a front side and a back side there. One side slightly clearer than the other, but nonetheless they're all very nice. 
so as you can see we've got uh, a multitude here that you can use in your uh, RPG games um, not just fantasy you know you could use these in some sort of uh, sci-fi settings if you're using them on sort of uh, planets and things in sort of bars and uh, buildings houses that sort of thing corridors you know there's a, a thing here that's like a, a bookcase door so uh, you know the, you can use these in in all sorts of settings and all sorts of games from your sort of your standard D and D, your Pathfinders, your Rune Quests, your Alien RPGs, uh, you know Tales from the Loop, all of those sort of RPG games that you play, you can use these. But you can also use them on uh, board games. So you could use them maybe in things like I don't know Hero Quest or um, you know sort of Frostgrave, Stargrave, you know figure games where you've got rooms or areas on a map where you want to have a have a doorway to sort of uh, stop your adventurers from getting any further without trying to uh, sort of gain access or you know sort of being stumped by uh, gaining access into the room you know you've got some here with uh, torches on um, you, the skulls as I say you've got the the bookcase you've got uh, one here with an open mouth and you've got again sort of uh, symbols on these and uh, You've got, as I say, there's there's a multitude of these, and then obviously there are also some uh, underneath as well. So we won't show all of them, but if you want to go on to the Loke site and have a look, and each door, you know, it's not like you um, have to sort of switch and change the bases over for your doors. You've got a base in here for every single one of the doors. So we showed you two of the five uh, larger doors and there's your three other bases so you've got a base for every single door individually so you could use them all at once you probably won't but you know you don't need to potentially store them like this you could put them onto the bases and just leave them in your own sort of containers and things and take them around with you but obviously storing them flat in this box is a good way to keep them and it'll stop them getting dirty and that sort of thing but uh, yeah it's great that you get a base for every door uh, rather than just getting say 10 or 20 and then you've got to sort of dismantle them to put uh, other other ones in um, because it, obviously each time you do that you know you run the risk of potentially snapping things or making the holes bigger you know over time whereas if you put this in you could even glue them in if you wanted to to just make them a bit more secure but you know they're not going to come out unless you you know pull them open and pull them apart so there we have it the Loke big box of dungeon doors from Loke battle mats and uh, check out their website for not only this product but for a uh, myriad of things to go with your tabletop games and if you like this video, please head over to my channel and uh, give this a quick like and hopefully subscribe to the channel. Up until the end of uh, this month, February 2024, I'm doing a game giveaway. Uh, somebody will win a copy of Summoner's Isle. So all you need to do is uh, say on my uh, top 10 video of games that I've played in my collection if you head over to that particular video and uh, subscribe to the channel make a comment on there follow the instructions within the video so you will need to watch the video follow the instructions make sure you're a subscriber and then at the end of February I'm going to draw one lucky person out and I will send them a copy of Summoner's Isle so until we do another one of these and uh, uh, either an unboxing or a playthrough or a review video, we will see you again. Bye for now.